Hello there YouTube and welcome to another video. So I know it's been a long time uh, since I've been making YouTube videos, especially for New World. I have been taking a lot of time off in terms of making YouTube videos and things like that. I've been really focused on the streaming aspect of the, uh, the content creating world and uh, streaming over the past few months. Um, currently I'm going to try and take a little bit of a break from the streaming aspect and try to focus a little more on the YouTube aspect of things when it comes to new world. So if you're looking for content from, uh, from my channels, uh, you know, be sure to follow me on Twitch. I still will plan on streaming here and there, but not as, uh, consistent, at, not as consistent as I used to do. Um, but be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel cause that is where a majority of my, uh, of my new world content will be uploaded. Uh, I will still upload like wars, um, any new updates, um and just any thoughts that i have about the game i plan on doing like tier lists or just a bunch of different stuff so if you're interested in uh in my content and you want to stay up to date on what i'm up to with new world be sure to subscribe to the youtube channel um and let's get into the video so for today's video i wanted to fly through uh just some of the minor things that i've seen on the ptr just to kind of get you guys hyped on the on the on the ptr and the new update that's going to be coming out uh, a lot of new things on the new ptr still uh new ptrs to come out with with uh with the great sword and crafting and being able to uh go to the new city new territory all that kind of stuff so the first thing i want to start with is uh some of the new pois and just uh some of the new areas that they have uh in the starting zones they have like new uh places to go to when you're doing the first couple missions when it comes to uh like clearing out like corruption zones and stuff like that the whole starting experience is a lot different than what than it was on launch uh once you get uh, somewhat through into the story it'll have you start visiting towns uh per usual and it, at one point you're gonna have to go to monarch's bluff and everfall and so far these two towns have been updated this is a monarch's bluff man this is insane uh they do update it as a capital so all the crafting stations are upgraded and all that um, but man, Monarch's Bluff just looks completely different, man. It's It looks so cool. As you can see, they have a lot of like high walls. Uh, it just looks more like a castle, man. They didn't really update like the trading post and some of that stuff. But I mean, just aesthetically, this place just looks insane. It looks so much cooler. Uh, they did upgrade a lot of like the houses and stuff like that too. So when you if you have a house in like Monarch's and Everfall, uh, your house might look a lot different. Um, so be aware for that. Um, you know, this used to be a closed off church in Monarchs and now it's just like an open area that you can kind of explore as you can see There's just like a throne room. I mean Monarchs looks just a lot upgraded and uh, it looks pretty cool So let's uh, head on over to Everfall. Okay, so as you can see just even pulling up to Everfall It looks completely different man like these really high walls once again this like clay brick uh, looking aesthetic. I mean, Everfall just looks so much different, man. As you can see, the houses all just look way different. I mean, this looks like uh, like Boston, Massachusetts uh, in the United States, man. It's, it's insane, dude. Uh, Everfall looks just completely different. The houses look different. Once again, trading post looks kind of the same. Stairs look a little different. Um, I really like the high wall aesthetic. Like you're, it looks like you're actually in a town instead of just some I don't know, man. It just looks cool. Uh, right now, this is the current house I have uh, since I, uh, on like the live servers that I bought on launch. And uh, as you can see, I mean, the houses just look so much different and so much cleaner. And uh, you get like windows and everything, be able to look out. I mean, it's it just looks so sick, man. So another couple of POIs that they have added uh, that I'll show, that I'll highlight here is they added the uh, Marauder Enclave, uh, the Covenant Shrine, uh, along with the Syndicate Enclave. Um, the Covenant one was very underwhelming compared to uh, the other ones. So we'll check these out really quick. So to start, this is the Covenant uh, Enclave, the Covenant uh, kind of just area. Um, I don't know if they're going to be adding like crafting stations to this area, um, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, in my opinion, the Covenant one is kind of the weakest of them all. Um, it does look pretty cool though. I mean, they, they pretty much just built like a, a big castle on the side of a mountain. And uh, with like a church inside, it does look pretty sick. I, I won't lie. I really enjoy that they kind of put these areas in. Um, just kind of a new place for people to, you know, do their RP or to, to just kind of hang around in uh, that's outside of like a city. Um, so I'm kind of I'm kind of glad they added these zones. I think they're pretty cool. Um, in my opinion, once again, the Covenant one is just a little more underwhelming compared to the other two. Uh, but I will check out. Uh, let's check out the Marauder one next. <coughs> All right, so here is the Marauder 
uh faction location the enclave uh the marauder one is pretty sick man it's got like uh it's got like a little dueling arena type thing uh over here with this with this lady uh i i don't know where this great sword came, came from but that thing looks pretty sick um but yeah the marauder place looks pretty sick in, in comparison to the covenant place so i'll just kind of walk around and kind of highlight it i don't think you can go inside but um yeah this this place looks pretty cool for marauders to just kind of stand around in town and hang out as well uh once again just kind of on like the side of a mountain uh it looks pretty sick uh in my opinion though and i am a little biased because i have been uh purple and syndicate since launch uh but in my opinion the syndicate place is uh definitely the coolest one and uh, we'll take a look at that right now. All right, so here is the Syndicate Enclave. It's kind of like a dug-in hideout underground. Uh, in my opinion, this place looks sick. Uh, it's a bunch of like purple crystals in the middle. A um, couple places to explore up top. Um, it, it looks like this area, like it looks like they want to put in like crafting stations and stuff. I, I hope they do. I think it would be cool to be able to go somewhere and do like crafting and and whatnot or just and like i said another place to hang out where you're not just in a town all the time um but the syndicate place looks sick in my opinion like a little underground uh like tavern basically um so i'll just kind of walk around here and explore uh what the the all those areas are are pretty much the same size it's not too big not too small uh, but the syndicate place in my opinion looks the best they did add a bunch of new pois just around the map as well um, in terms of like questing and and things like that places where you used to be um, and you're used to are completely different now they have like big forts around them and all that kind of stuff it looks pretty sick i did try uh exploring a brimstone sands that is not released yet i went uh to this shrine over here and i ran all the way up over here and uh, once i got there i tried to run in and it just kills you uh, you just take damage immediately and you die so you're not able to get into brimstone sands uh quite yet and then obviously uh we have the great sword is in the game um i'm not going to dive too deep into the great sword right now in the ptr you actually have to level up your great sword to be able to equip all the perks and and abilities and all that uh to, to so to fully test and showcase the great sword uh, i want to do that at like level 20 so i'm probably going to wait for another ptr to come out uh, when it comes to the great sword but uh, i can kind of highlight it just quickly but i'm not going to dive too deep into it uh, so for the great sword there's two different trees there's the defiance and the onslaught uh, they both have different stances depending on when you do abilities and different things you'll go into a different stance which will buff and debuff you and other players and, and all that kind of stuff um, but the basic abilities are uh, cross cut um relentless rush i'll let you guys kind of pause the video and read through it i like i said i'm not going to dive too deep into the great sword in this video uh, skyward slash and then on the defiance stance or the defiance tree there's the calamity encounter uh, steadfast strike uh, along with the roaring rupture and then these are the two uh, path of defiance these are the two different stances uh, path of onslaught uh, but the great sword so far feels pretty good it seems like it's gonna be like a heavy melee type uh, build uh, if you're in wars and stuff like that, I think this thing is going to be outstanding and great for PvE. If you are a tank and you are a PvE dungeon gamer, this weapon is going to be extremely fun to use. So be excited for that. So the last thing I'll kind of highlight in this video for you guys um, is going to be the uh, recovery speed in terms of when you get hit in PvP and how fast you can get back up to full speed running um, in terms of like the recovery uh in in all the different equip loads light medium and heavy light armor took a big hit big nerf uh it takes a long time to get your uh, your recovery back to be able to sprint away after light dodging and getting hit um so we're going to showcase that along with the medium dodge along with the heavy dodge as well medium not crazy a uh, little bit of a nerf to it heavy definitely a buff being able to get away in heavy is a, a lot better now it seems like um but yeah i'll kind of showcase that for you guys okay so this is light armor when you get hit and then you dodge away and then you try to run away it is very slow compared to the live servers and now i can run it's very much it's very much slower it's kind of insane so here's what it looks like in the medium dodge when you hit somebody and they try to get away and how long it takes them to regenerate and uh, be able to sprint away.
So here's what it looks like in heavy armor when you hit somebody and then they try to dodge or try to get away and sprint away. So it's a lot faster. Heavy armor, you can actually kind of get away from people. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, I just wanted to highlight some of the few things that I saw on the PTR uh, in terms of like the new areas and all that stuff. Um, you know, I think the level 1 to 25 uh, leveling so far is so much better than it was on launch. I can say that for sure. So if you're thinking about, uh, you know, just jumping into New World for the first time when this new update happens, I definitely recommend it. The leveling is a lot better now. The UI is a lot better. Um, it's actually enjoyable. The quest is cool. There's like new cutscenes. All that kind of stuff man so i i definitely recommend it if you're if you if you want to get into the game and not, now is definitely the time i think it's a good time to, to jump in and experience it for the first time get a couple friends together quest together and you'll enjoy it a lot once again i apologize for the long drought of content on this channel if you guys are new hit that subscribe button if you guys are just coming back to my channel and see that i've uploaded for the first time in like four months welcome back i appreciate you guys i'm not going to be streaming on twitch as much but be sure to follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash uh, I'm not going to stream as much New World. I will still be uploading, like I said in the beginning of the video, wars that I do, any new content, PTR related, um, live server related, just any content I can think of, I'm going to upload to this channel in terms of like builds, um, you know, any advice I can give, informational stuff, updates, PTR like this video, all that kind of stuff, man. So if you guys are interested, be sure to follow uh, me on Twitch and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.